Greetings friends, Jaws Paul here. In the interest of taking a deep dive into Hades content and providing some more of my thoughts and opinions, I'm going to be rating a number of different boons over the next few weeks. Today we're starting with the dash boons. I'm going to be ranking the dashes from most useful to the least useful and talking about any specific powerful combinations available. I'll just say again, as I have in most of my other ranking videos, that all of these dash boons are viable and most of them have very cool builds available to them. Also, these are just my opinions based on how I play the game. You may prefer other boons. It's all good. You do you. I'm rating the dashes on several different criteria. The first consideration is the damage the dash provides. The second consideration is whether it provides any damage mitigation. And the last is utility. All right, let's get into it. These are my thoughts on the dash boons, and we'll start with the bottom of the pile. In eighth place, we have Dionysus Dash. The main issue with Dionysus Dash is the low damage output. Compared with the other dashes, the damage comes out very slowly. It does provide a curse for privilege status, so it isn't terrible and can be useful. We did try and make Dio Dash a primary damage ability with the pig pen build, but it had uh, limited success. In seventh place, we have Zeus Thunder Dash. Thunder Dash has had a storied history throughout the development of Hades, receiving many, many nerfs before ending up where it is today. Uh, it's possible for this dash to be decent with the right build and with enough tier 2 Zeus boons, but you don't always find double strike and without it, this dash really suffers compared with other offerings. In 6th place we have Artemis Dash. All right, don't get me wrong, in the right build, Artemis Dash is an incredible tool and not to be ignored and may be essential for a build to work. However, it tends to be a key part of certain builds and is completely worthless for many others. The bonus attack damage is truly incredible with some builds, but it's got very niche uses in my opinion. In fifth place, we have Ares Dash. Ares Dash leaves a blade rift behind you where you dashed from. This can be pretty effective as a way to punish enemies that leap at you or follow you. It works well with kiting builds like with the bow or the rail and the spear somewhat. It can be buffed with Ares tier 2 boons which can be quite good for this. The main problem is the lack of curse potential and the lack of any crowd control or damage mitigation. However, its lack of CC or a curse is made up by the large amounts of damage and some CC can be found with engulfing vortex. I had written this dash off entirely until I tried it in a dash only run recently, and it could be pretty effective. In fourth place, we have Demeter Dash. This dash gets an edge over some of the other dashes due to its status effect and the duration that it lingers. It can be difficult to tell the range of the dash as well as how long the cloud lingers, but it's a fairly long duration. The chill effect has a lot of benefits and can be buffed with tier 2 boons to cause damage as well. In third place with a podium finish is Aphrodite Dash. This gets a slight edge over Ares because it applies a nice curse effect which activates privilege status as well as several duo boons which really benefit from the weak curse. Low tolerance, heartbreak, crit duo, etc. Additionally, they recently buffed the palm scaling for this dash. It's definitely less effective on ranged builds though. That's a lot. That's a lot. Hmm. In second place, I have to give this to Poseidon Dash. Poseidon Dash provides so much area damage and that it trivializes most of sticks. The dash even has the potential to provide all necessary damage by itself in a run. You can combine it with Sea Storm and you end up with one ability that completely wrecks the game. For speedrunning, this would be in the number one spot for sure. Cater to people who don't want to be spoiled, but I, I do I, I do what I don't, right? Like I. I care about it, but I also <laughs> just want to play the game. And in first place is Athena Dash. Is anyone really surprised? Athena's Dash provides additional iframes and deflects projectiles back to enemies. Because of the deflect, Athena Dash always provides incredible value. It doesn't provide much damage, but what it lacks in damage, it more than makes up for, for in increased survivability. <laughs> what is happening? It's the worst. That's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, let me know by leaving a like. 
I'm sure there are a lot of opinions out there about this one, so let me know how you would rank the Dash Boons in the comments below. Also, I would love to invite you to catch one of my streams. I stream on Saturday at 8 a.m. Central, 8 p.m. Central, and then again on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. And that's at twitch.tv slash Good luck in your escapes, and we'll catch you in the next one.